While dreams most times are personal, for these three, the dream and pursuit for their passion have turned collective. Majid, real name Ekechi Aka Joseph, is a graduate of mass communication who found music while he was in junior secondary school but began chasing a professional dream about five years ago. Lagos! Lagos! Everybody gets in your cross. You want chop, you can stop all up. Only God in official cause. Never! Oh, never! It's life and in the other. I started when I was in secondary school, GSS3 to be precise, I remember. And uh, the zeal was always there to actually pursue this um, this um, this um, vision, right? It was it was always there, and uh, it wasn't easy actually, because my parents weren't really that supportive, right, at the start, but. I understood the vision, I, I knew what I was seeing, so I had to just press on and seriously, it wasn't easy, but I'm here. Uh, I would say I was a very calm person back then. Uh, I wasn't exposed then when I was still coming up, but along the line, I could understand that this is what I want to do with my life. This is my whole life. I have to take it with my hands, grab it now. So. I broke free. I broke free from from the whole chilled vibe and I'm here. Angolan-born Australian raised Lisa Viola's dream brought her all the way from Sydney as she seeks to find her space in the gradually dominating Afrobeat sound. While she was already pushing a music career before her introduction to Afrobeat, her African origin connected immediately to the sound and she knew she wanted a part of it. <laughs> I ended up here by chance, you know, I was always very active in the African community in Australia because I'm Angolan born. Um, so, you know, there's an African diaspora in every country. So I was kind of that, that girl in Australia, I was always at all the African events, African festivals, always kind of like, you know, pioneering that, that, um, that new sound that was coming through. Because, you know, we had like the dance hall moment, you know, we had the reggae and dance hall moment and then it slowly started to evolve and we started hearing more sounds from Africa. And, you know, I was in a dance crew back in the day, so we used to, you know, do YouTube videos and all the new songs that would come out. We were always just a part of the of the progress, the progression of what was happening around the world. And we finally kind of found an identity because you know, being African in another country, that's hard. It's hard because you're trying to find who you are, especially someone like me. I'm mixed race, but I was raised by an African mother, so I know the African way. I got the African beatings. I got all the <laughs> the hard love, you know. So I was always just trying to find who I was, and I, it was my way to connect when that music really started to come through. You know, it was like, oh, that, this feels good, this feels right. And I was always like a, a performer. I've been on stage since I was five years old. So I was always like around music, around dance, around like production, you know. And so music for me was like therapy. I would just write in my room. I just loved writing. And then I thought, you know what, let, let me try this. I released my first single in 2013 and it just escalated from there. And I was an independent artist for eight years. And then, yeah, I just, happened to, you know, come across the founder of Dream Empire Music and he said, look, would you like to go to Nigeria? I've got a label there, it's fairly early stages, but we really feel like you could bring that international feel. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I love going on adventures and um, I'm here. And for Ifai Chuku Chigo, his journey to music started from the background. He has worked on production, vocal coaching and, and some other back-end activities for some of the big-name Nigerian acts, including Scales, Shay Shay, Omotola Jalade Kende, Harris Song, and many others. Now going by the name Verachi, he is now chasing his dream of having the spotlight for himself. Singing is R&B. My melodies is R&B driven, like everything is R&B. But you know, it's Afrocentric because it has an infusion of like pop, dance, and everything. But when I sing, when you listen to my delivery and everything, you know, like, I'm an R&B singer and everything. I'm a vocalist, so that's what basically how my song came about to be, Afrocentric R&B. The vision has finally materialized for all three. Today is their official showcase to the world on the Dream Empire music platform. At the old Playa solo acts, this introductory track is a joint work of all three. Oh, my God.
Right, a lot of people dream about being artists, a lot of people dream about working in the music business, but they don't know how to achieve that. We're here to make people achieve people achieve their dreams. While dreams are truly most times personal, when they come together, they can form a formidable vision strong enough to make the dreams come true.